again everybody um this is going to be the last chapter chapter seven before the easter holidays and then we'll pick off um with chapter eight in a couple of weeks time um yes chapter seven today it was dark in the crate it was full of buzzing flies and it smelled of rotten fruit the ground was slimy sticky under varjack's paws he peered out through the crack heart pounding Sally Bones's cats were stalking down the steps. They walked in line, a tight, disciplined line, each guarding the others. They looked so much bigger and stronger than the street cats. They looked very well fed. They were led by Luja, the grey cat with emotionless eyes. Behind him came Razor, strutting tall as ever, despite the fight. After Razor came, Uzi and Shane and six others. Each one was terrifying. The street cats cowered away from them and clustered round Mrs Moggs by the anchor. We're looking for a cat called Varjack Paul, snapped out Luja, cold as ice. He's new in town. Who knows where he is? Varjack's heart lurched. One word, one look could give him away. But the street cats didn't say a thing. They didn't even glance at the crates. This cat is small but dangerous, said Luja. He's an outsider, not from around here. He doesn't respect our laws. He was hunting mice in the city dump, which belonged to our gang. Then he attacked one of us, totally unprovoked. Isn't that right, Razor? Razor's tail swished behind him. That's right. Sally Bones wants him, dead or alive, said Luja. He's an outlaw. So are his friends, Holly and Tam. We know they're your friends too. Where are they? Vardak's insides felt like liquid. Outlaw? Dead or alive? How had this happened? Out in the yard, Mrs Mogg spoke up. Well now, Luja, she said, quiet but firm. First of all, I do believe the dump is part of the city centre. It's neutral ground. I don't be- It doesn't belong to your gang. Luja didn't blink. And what else? he said. Second, said Mrs Mogg, we don't know this Parjack Vore, or whatever he's called... Her words crackled round the yard like electricity. Luja shook his head. That's a shame, because Sally Bones is offering a reward for information. Fresh fish and juicy mice, as much as you can eat. Varjak's heart twisted inside his chest. Luja offered them the one thing they all wanted, but everyone stayed silent, even old Buckley. They just looked down at the ground. Above, a seagull squawked, a long, hoarse cry into the night. Let me say it again, said Luja. So there's no doubt. Varjak Paw is an outlaw. We will find him, we will hunt him down, and we will bring him to justice. The same goes for anyone who helps him or hides him. They will be hunted down in the same way and taken before Sally Bones for punishment. Do you understand? As Varjak listened, an insect buzzed in his ear. It landed on his nose. He could feel its legs crawling on his face, but there was nothing he could do. Sally Bones' gown would hear him if he made a sound. Keep still. Don't move. Don't even breathe. Out in the yard there was silence. A roaring silence. Luja nodded at his lieutenants beside him. Uzi, Shane, do your thing. Uzi and Shane grinned. They stalked around the yard, tails flicking with menace. They pushed and prodded the street cats. Varjak could see the street cats' fur rising with fear, their little huddles breaking up. He felt the fear inside, rising in his guts. It's going to get worse, said Luja, if you don't tell us what we want to know. Call your thugs off, said Mrs Moggs. We don't know anything. Luja sidled up to her. Is that so? He hissed. Varjak Stammer nodded as he watched, but Mrs Moggs didn't flinch. Yes, it is, she said simply. And I'll tell you what else. Now you ask. Them fish and mice you're offering as a reward. They belong to us anyway. You stole them from us. Luja stared at Mrs Moggs. She looked straight back at him, dignified and calm. Luja blinked first. He shook his head with irritation and snuck around behind her. Who is this? 
he said, dragging out a marmalade-coloured kitten. It's little Jets, said Razor. He strutted over. Jess tried to back down, but Luja held her there. The knots in Vajrak's stomach tightened. Don't you hurt my Jessie, said Mrs Moggs, her fur beginning to rise. Don't you hurt her, you hear me? We wouldn't dream of it, said Razor, big and loud. We don't want to hurt anyone. We just want to protect you from dangerous outlaws. You understand that, don't you, Jess? Now, why don't you save everyone a lot of trouble and tell us where to find Varjack Poor and his friends, eh? I d don't know, said Jess in a wavery voice. Luja shoved Razor aside and unsheathed his claws in front of Jess's face. You are a pretty little kitten, he said, cold as ice. You want to stay pretty, don't you? You don't want to end up with nasty scars everywhere like Razor here. Now tell us where he is. Jess stood there trembling. So did Varjak in the crate and Holly and Tam beside him. He felt helpless, totally helpless. Have a heart, Luja, pleaded Mrs Moggs. Jessie's only little. Luja laughed. Varjak saw him look at Razor, a question in his eyes. Razor shivered, hesitated a moment and then nodded. Right, said Luja to the crowd. If you don't tell us what we want to know, this kitten will be punished. A spasm of horror ran through the yard. Luja seized Jess by the scruff. She twisted and turned and it was no good. He had her and he was dragging her away. No, cried Mrs Moggs. Not my Jessie. She reached for her granddaughter, but the other gang cat shoved her back. They flashed their deadly claws and teeth at the crowd, keeping them at bay. We'll give you a chance, said Razor. But you've got till tomorrow night. If no one talks by then, you'll have to deal with Sally Bones herself. The street cats recalled but her name. They shrank back in terror, sinking into the snow. Razor, Luja and the rest of them strode up the steps, out of the yard, dragging Jess away. She was withering. Mrs Noggs was, Moggs was howling, but no one lifted a paw to stop it happening. There was no resistance. No one dared. Poor Jess. That's, as I say, that's it, uh, that's it for a couple of weeks now. Um, but I hope you all have an amazing, amazing Easter. Have a, a well-deserved break um, and play lots of games and things. Um, and remember to stay safe. Okay, see you after the Easter.